Hey guys, welcome back to probably the last episode before we get the boat painted. We've sanded it all back. We've fiberglassed the floor. We're gonna do some flow coating. We're gonna finish the bottom and get this thing to a booth. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hope What's the have. plan tonight, Billy? Uh, a bit of sanding and repairs. Sanding, sanding. Um repairs here. So we've got a couple of repairs here, repairs yeah. there. And the hatch up the front. Oh yeah, got to finish the hatch. Square bit, so we squared that up. And I am going to be installing this tonight, which is a hatch for the back here, which is why I've cut this hole out. Um, and the bilge pump is going to be living in there. So that is my job for tonight, which goes right there. Let's do this. Goes on an angle. That sits in really nice though. No, that's all right. That's good. One more coat, that's just finished off the bottom really, really nice and much. So I've left this overnight to dry. Um, it's got three layers of chop strand. This is the new cutout for the false floor that's going to be sitting on top of the tank. Uh, there's a little bit of wood chips in there because we just wanted to get the shape right, but that sits in there very, very nicely. Big night inside the boat. We've got the fuel tank in now. We've got the sender, uh, all the gauge wiring all hooked up. And I'm just doing the breather at the moment. So I've decided to um, polyester fill uh, the edges. Only reason being is it's now um, siliconed in on the bottom. So I'm gonna fill this up with some filler. And if you ever wanna remove this piece, just get an angle grinder and cut down the slit. And then that should pop straight out. Beautiful. We're at the really crucial part of putting this radius in the bottom of the setting. We'll do it at the Grandmaster here. This is what you get. You get this lovely looking radius. Yeah. And, uh, We're just going to make it look nice um, because these are just being fiberglassed in. This way. Easy, easy, 
butter it up some little bit more. Oh. Bit of smoke, oh, Billy. The big, Red Rooster big, Rippers. Red Rooster. The Red Rooster Rippers, man. Can't go past mm -hmm. them, mate. All right, bit of an update. Transom's getting done now. Hatch is done. And um, we're gonna, we ran out of some masking tapes. We're going to go get some more masking tape tomorrow and we're going to start masking the windows and all the sides and we'll get a lick of epoxy on tomorrow so we can start getting that to dry. It's a little bit cold at the moment so it'll take a good day for the epoxy to, to cure. Hey guys, so it's the next day and everything that we've done in the last couple of nights is all dried up. Um, this has turned out quite nicely. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's a lot easier to sand when the shape is 80% there. I've gave this a quick sand because this is all going to get two pack painted. And there was just a couple more repairs that I wanted to do on the roof and the dash. So I've just put a couple more layers of glass there um, because later down the track I need to cut out uh, where my switch panel goes so I wanted to get that nice and strong. Um, there was a couple little holes here where the wood was exposed so we put some epoxy resin in there. The floor is now epoxied in and that is not going anywhere. So unfortunately I've got something on tonight but uh, I will be just taping up everything that doesn't need to be painted white or painted at all. Um, just so we can get it ready uh, to prime it. Uh, Billy is priming it tonight, so unfortunately I can't video it, but um, we're gonna get it ready so we can paint it this weekend, which is gonna be pretty exciting stuff. Love it, look at that. Everything is masked up, ready to go. So just before we do uh, the epoxy, everything's gonna get covered up because this shit goes everywhere. We are painting it this weekend, and then after that, we'll probably have a week break um, because we've got a major cleanup in the shed to do. Oh, look at this. Really, really nice job. Hey guys, it's the next day, we're back. Here's the boat, this is what she's looking like at the moment. It's got a really thick layer of epoxy primer. And this is where we start all the repairs. So what's good about this is you can actually see now all the little imperfections in the boat. Uh, where we've missed bog, where there's scratches, pinholes, all sorts of stuff, so these little holes here. And it just, yeah, just highlights everything, which is good. And plus, the epoxy primer helps everything to stick when um, we paint it, so. So the plan is today is to get the, the boat on the trailer, which is pretty exciting. Uh, the reason we're doing that is we're gonna actually take the trailer outside and we're gonna let the epoxy uh, cook in the sun, uh, put a bit of heat on it, because it has been very cold in Perth lately. Um, so we're going to do that today and my job is to clean the shed so it's got to be done so we're taking everything out the shed hosing it down washing everything um, because this here is going to a booth to get painted and um, we're pretty much in the final stages of sanding down and getting it painted so we're going to take it out give the shed a clean um, and then finish all the works outside. We're going to start sanding outside the last little bit. Can't wait to start painting it. <laughs> Uncle Steve, as per the first episode, he's just bringing bringing the car back with the trailer up so we can start winching it. Woo! 
So we just do need to adjust the rollers and lift those up because the back end um, is sitting up in the air. You can see there, so we're just going to lift those two front rollers up so we can get the boat sitting level on the trailer. Well, she's out of the shed, guys. It's gonna do a bit of cooking in the sun. Um, so this is uh, the epoxy primer is nice and hard, ready to start working on. Uh, and we've got a massive, massive clean up in the little shed. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, the next episode is painting the base. So I'll see you in the next one.